Step one, tailgate down. Six inch distance. Which we never raised them all the way back up. That's about six inches there. Is that, are you good with that? Oh yeah. Okay, that's good. Now, drop feet down. Okay, so I did a little Walmart slash Publix run this morning. Bucky's actually working from our house today. That's the nice thing about staying at Carolina Pines or even Ocean Lakes. It's so close to our house. If we have to like run home for anything, want to do laundry, Bunky needs to work, we can just like easily go back and forth. And that is so, so nice. But it's like 85 degrees and pure sunshine today. So I'm about to get my bathing suit and go out to the pool and read my book. And I'm so excited. But I want to show you guys a few things that I picked up today because they're so good. You know our love for Kinders. We probably own almost every seasoning <laughs> that they have to offer. We're obsessed. And now they have all of these new like glazes, sauces, dipping sauces, wing things. Like I want every single one of them because they sound so good. So I got the hot honey because I'm pretty sure we're gonna like smoke some like chicken leg quarters or chicken thighs this week. And so I thought that would be really good on there. And then this one is what I'm the most excited about. It is their creamy roasted garlic does that not sound so good and they say dip it in fries chips and veggies drizzle it on pizza grilled meat or eggs add it to your favorite sandwich wrap or burger i'm literally gonna put this on everything so i'm so excited to try these i got us some san pellegrino blood oranges if you've never had these they are so good they will be like your guilty pleasure i drink one every single day because they are so so yummy and they're on sale so i definitely got us some and i want to flip you around so you could see these better i found these little hooks at walmart and they are super super lightweight and they remind me kind of of like little seashells which y'all know we love all the coastal beach themes and so i thought these would be so cute in our new rv so i gotta find a spot for these but they were like eight dollars so not bad and i love of course the gold lots of sandwich meat for the week i got us some like little olives and pepidus i needed some body lotion from the camper so i picked that up and then we've got like some chips funky loves like flaming hot cheetos and these are flaming hot lemon so <laughs> he's gonna love those and then i also got him some coffee for his little coffee maker and just a few other odds and ends of groceries that we needed I am making some coffee this morning. Oh, he's gonna make some coffee in his coffee pot. Y'all know I do icy dust hot. And it's a special day today. It is. What could it be? It's my birthday. It's your birthday, <laughs> Bonky. And my only request for my birthday was that I wanted smashed cinnamon rolls for breakfast. So we're gonna try and make them, but it actually just started raining. So we might have to hold off for a little bit. Yeah, it's been little uh, sprinkles off and on. Yeah, and we had plans to go out to um, the Lazy River at Carolina Pines because when we were here last time, it was actually closed. This is the first time it's been open, like that we've been here, and so I've been so excited to go to the Lazy River, and I think it's gonna rain all day. <laughs> so we might have to come up with something else for my birthday. You know, what I also just remembered. What? We're supposed to pick up the golf cart in like 20 minutes. <laughs> It's going to be pouring down rain. Oh. We have big plans of being outside today. This weather is not cooperating. I'm finally off work today. I know. I got the whole day, Saturday, to enjoy the campground and all that. Look at those blue skies. I think it's gonna be a, a, a day of unknowns. Wow. We're gonna go from 
a little sprinkle to blue skies to potentially a little shower. <laughs> It smells so good, but he's got some bacon going. It feels good out here, actually. There's nothing better than some coffee by the Blackstone in the morning. With some bacon cooking. So, we were back to a, a light sprinkle here. We had to put the awnings out. First time the awnings have gone First out. First time ever. And it's I gotta nice. say, it is, it is awesome just having the awning out. There's, there's just something special about it. Because it. this is a fifth wheel, it's like they're taller, so it feels even more oh, like luxurious for yeah, some reason. That is that is like really up there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's really tall. If y'all never made smash cinnamon rolls, you're doing it wrong. You can see the uh, raindrops we had <laughs> here. Make sure our flames are still on. It's a little breezy. After I had smash cinnamon rolls one time, I like won't eat them any other way now. Yeah, they're just not the same out of the oven anymore. No, this is the way to go. I got my sunnies on because it's like actually kind of bright out here but Bunky's like what do you want to do for your birthday do you want to go to Hamburger Joe's and I was like well we could and I'm like I'm not big like I don't have to have anything fancy I'm happy to just like literally hang out with Bunky and Daisy May and the fact that like I've even had like a little cozy morning in the camper my heart is happy and he was like well actually I made us some reservations and it was so sweet and such a surprise so we're actually gonna go to a really nice dinner tonight it's supposed to be like amazing they have like the best steaks and seafood and pasta like I was looking at the menu I don't even know what to order <laughs> so it's gonna be really good but first we're gonna try and have a little bit of fun at the pool if this rain will hold off I wonder if y'all can see the clouds, but they are moving so fast. There is definitely a storm brewing, but we have gotten at least two to three hours out here. Like two and a half good hours. And I think we have one more before the storm actually comes. Yeah. It's coming, but we've had some good sun. And by the way, I've been reading this book. It is amazing. The love story is so captivating. You will not be able to put this book down. We are grilling tonight. I'm so excited. If you've seen some of our like other RV videos, you know that we have our little like red ceramic smoker grill and it makes some of the best chicken ever. And it's like one of my favorite things to have while we're camping. And I picked up some new flavors for this chicken. So I'm like really excited to make this. And y'all know we are like a Kinder's loving family. The Cali Gold barbecue sauce is hands down our very favorite of all time. Yeah. You cannot beat this barbecue. It's like flawless, fail safe. Oh, you talk about the best tasting barbecue chicken, anything. Never had a bad result with that. So good, okay? Always. So we're gonna drizzle this on top, okay? Mm. And then I saw this at Walmart. It is the Kinder's The Barbecue Blend. And we actually don't have this one. And I was reading like the ingredients. So sea salt, paprika, brown sugar, dehydrated onion, mustard seed. Like it's gonna be good. Wow. Garlic. That's got like everything you need in exactly the bottle. Exactly, in this. No kidding. I cannot wait to taste it, but I feel like seasoned with this and then doused with Cali Gold yeah. and then drizzle with hot honey on top. Like oh y'all, best God. barbecue chicken ever, okay? Okay, I had to give this a little taste. It is delicious. If you see this in your grocery store, pick it up. So while this girl is heating up, I thought I would answer a big question that I've seen you guys asking a lot of, and that is like, how much does it actually cost to stay at a campground? And while this answer can vary in like 10 different directions, we're gonna try and break it down for you as best as we can. And we have found some like tips and tricks to even find like little discounts here and there, but really it depends on what season you're camping in, first of all, because in the summer, it's gonna be a lot more expensive than like in the winter. Winter, right so like peak seasons if you go to like the Tennessee mountains in the fall probably gonna pay a little bit more um, 
the beach in the summer, all the things. It also depends on if you're staying at like a luxury RV resort or like a state park, for instance. Mm -hmm. Total opposite ends of the spectrum. Also, like, do you want your campsite to have full hookups? Like that adds in as well. But I would say most campgrounds, our average that I feel like we spend is usually between like $60 to $70 a night. But we are actually staying at Carolina Pines right now and Bunky is the one who booked this campsite and while he was online he saw that they had a discount code. So before you just like book a campsite be sure you check their website. Look and see if they're like running a promotion right now. So yeah so we're familiar with Carolina Pines because we've stayed here a couple of times but it's actually part of, I think you said it a second ago, like Sun Outdoors RV Resorts, which they have locations all across the country. But, you know, when you go, I guess anywhere you're thinking about staying, what you should, I would recommend doing is you go to their website and typically they'll probably have a little um, like promotions or specials uh, button that you can click on and, and see what they have going on. Because here right now, through uh, Sundays through Thursday nights, they're doing a 30% off promotion because it's kind of during the week. So, and it's on, not quite summertime yet. Yeah. It's kind of like off season. Yeah. So I think it was, you know, like $78 a night. But then with the 30% off, it was like somewhere around $50. So that is a steal. If so, you think about staying for more than just like two or three days, that's a big discount. Yeah, and when you do um, also, you know, they'll do um, discounts if you're if you're someone who's planning on staying for a long period of time. Yes. Like you'll, you'll have, you know, a month long discounted rate. Yes, like Bunky is saying, if you plan on like staying at one particular spot for a month, they're going to cut you a deal and give you like a much better rate for that month long stay. Um, also, one thing that we've learned with Carolina Pines, specifically is they kind of work like an airplane ticket so meaning like the closer you get to booking sometimes the more expensive it can be if you plan on coming here for like the 4th of July you better book it out for four years from now <laughs> because we tried to come last 4th of July and y'all it was so expensive I almost like actually I think I did bust out laughing yeah, you probably and laugh. I was like thank you goodbye it was so expensive but that's because like during those peak times especially close to that time they like the rate goes up now i also want to mention on top of like just looking at the website and finding discount codes like we follow a lot of rv content creators and sometimes they will have a discount so like we're gonna go to an rv resort here in like probably a month or so and we actually found a discount from someone else like they had a discount code and so just like finding people that are maybe traveling to the same places as you and things like that you can find little discounts also, if you are a good SAM member, if you are military, um, first responder, a lot of times people don't know to like ask for those things. But like for instance, we're gonna go stay at Creek Fire and I'm pretty sure they give a discount to all three of those things. Um, and it's either 10 or 15% off per think, night or yeah. of your whole stay. Yeah, I think it's 10, but still 10, you know, you multiply that out, especially yeah. Over the, a week. over the course of time too it all adds up so if you were just like booking online and you didn't like know to ask for that you might not take advantage of that now i want bunky to tell you kind of like about being a good sam member okay so i pulled up i pulled up my phone actually to find a few of the things here just to kind of be sure about it because you get um one of the good things actually is you get 15 percent off of your propane fills oh that's awesome um you get super major discounts like when you're shopping at Campin' World there's so many things that I've actually bought from there that we've probably like gotten over 50% off on so it's like yeah like something that's $300 is like 150 like your rugs your chairs yeah we got that rug and that chair yeah. from there and then another thing that they do so like you said the uh, discounts at campgrounds and then also um, I think it's pilot and flying J locations you get um like five or ten cents off per gallon so i think it's like five cent off gas and then ten cent off fuel diesel diesel <laughs> yeah, yeah so i mean and the campground is ten percent off discount yes and it says it's at over two thousand locations um but overall i mean i think if you're going to be somebody who's doing this pretty regularly then what you're paying in a in an annual membership like the Far. savings that you can uh, accumulate far exceed 
that expense. So it's really worth it. I've always thought that it made sense to have it. Like even how we just booked, um, uh, you know, our next trip. Yeah. Um, just that 10% off that we're saving to stay there for as long as we are, we're actually, like, we've already covered what we paid for a three-year membership. Yeah, exactly. So... I think a three-year membership is, like, 80 bucks. I think it was, like, 80 or For 90. three years. That is not yeah, bad. Yeah, so I think it's, like, 29 or 30... Either, it's either, like, 30 or $40 a year, but when you when you do like a one year two year three year you know you commit to three year you're going to get more of a discount so. yeah so another great money saving tip to stay at a campground i think is a that's a real easy way to save some money yeah if there is one thing like you are so good at bunky it is grilling some chicken because this looks amazing I gotta dig in. Like, I cannot wait one more second. Thank you. And I'm telling y'all, like, on the Big Green Egg or that little Kamado Joe grill, yeah, it's the best. I will try and link that grill for y'all, too, by the way. <laughs> Bonk <right here. laughs> Did I There's get, nothing like it. Did I get lucky again? Oh, my gosh. Okay, the hot honey. That is good. Well, I need a plate for myself here. Let's. Y'all. It's so good. I think that like smoked barbecue chicken is one of my all-time favorite foods in the whole wide world. It's to, it, it it's mouth-watering. I love a good chicken leg quarter. Wow, and they're so inexpensive. Yeah. One last thing I want to tell you about how much it costs to stay at a campground. So it is all about what you want, like the way that you want to camp an RV. So there are luxury RV resorts, and I don't want you to be sticker shocked. They are upwards of like $100 a night. And if you are looking for like teetotal relaxation, um, restaurants on site, things to do for the kiddos, Put put. The amenities can be endless. Like even here at Carolina Pines, we have a bowling alley, we have an arcade. There is a full on like massive kids water park, mini golf, like all of the things, right? So if you love that kind of RV living and you want everything on site, you don't even have to leave, then the RV park might cost a little bit more. But if you just want like quaint and quiet, kind of like a mom and pop place, somewhere to just like escape and read a book, you're probably not going to have to pay as much. So it's truly what you want out of camping. And the best way to go about it, I think, is like having a little bit of both. Bunky and I love seeing places like this that's so cool and extravagant and like the most beautiful pools. But also, I find the same like joy and beauty in just really small, quaint campgrounds. So, all about what you want out of it. Can y'all see that? We can see. Okay. It's pretty dark out here though. I've, I've prepped my uh, initial pile here. Mm -hmm. I'm going for one match. Are you ready? We are ready. Show can, us. Here's the one match y'all. Okay. Show you us ready? what you're made of. Well, he was an Eagle Scout if you didn't know. Still am. That's right. You are. You yeah. never stop being Eagle Scout. You know Scout. what they say? Once an Eagle, always an Eagle. <laughs> okay. All right. No pressure here now. Okay. The one match. By, by the way, there are no um, extra helpers in there. This is just wood from the campground. I think you're going to get it. You think? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm so excited right now. I think you did it. I haven't had um, one match success in quite a few tries. <laughs> As you know, it's it's been... It's been a while, B. It's been a few tries, but here we are. We're you worked hard on that little TP of wood. Well, it, it actually wasn't that much work. I, I got, um, I think we just had some good wood tonight. Yeah, it's very dry. 